Hey everyone, I'm Lori Harder, transformational speaker, author, fitness expert, and creator of The Bliss Project. And recently, I've been thinking a lot about how diverse we are as human beings and how we're showing up. And in order to get to where we actually wanna go and all of our goals, because I know that all of you who are getting this video are very motivated, goal-oriented, leader type A, most likely people, <laughs> or people who have that inner uh, person who is ready to make big moves in this world. So with that said, that is going to take so much self-love in order to do all of the actions needed to get yourself out into the world, to create that big project, to do that thing that you wanna do, to get your message out, because as we do this and as you get out there, failure is a part of the process. In fact, I believe it's one of the biggest parts of the process. I really wish we could rename it. I think that we should <laughs> because failing is so vital and it's so important, but the most important of failure is what you're saying to yourself afterward. So the other day I was thinking about how we show up in these different places in our life and when we go to a social event where we want people to really like us or when we are dating someone and we want them to fall in love with us or we're meeting these new women that we really, really want to connect deeply with, how are we pitching ourselves? What are we saying about ourselves? What are we saying are traits that we have to offer this person? What are we saying are fun things that we love to do and things maybe we admire about ourselves or things that make this person drawn to us or these people drawn to us. So these are the things that when you think about how you think of yourself and when you're going into these new actions and these new places in your life and you're failing, you literally have to pitch yourself. You have to make you fall in love with you. Because what happens is as we go out and we wanna start doing these different things, that voice in our head is maybe not so kind. And there's no way that we can fall in love with who we are and have the grace that we need and the forgiveness if we are talking to ourselves in such a negative way, right? So how are we pitching ourselves when we're trying to make other people fall in love with us? What are we saying? What would you say? And these are the same exact things that you need to say in your head afterward, after you do a new action or before you do a new action, right? So why is it that we are actually mentally abusing ourselves in our mind, but we are, are expecting this self-love thing to go a whole lot easier? What we need to do is start using words and start using sentences that we would use maybe on our friends, on our loved ones, on those women that you really, really, really care for, on your, you know, what would you say to your younger self? What would you say to your younger sister? What would you say to your best friend? What would you say to a loved one when they need that extra grace, when they need that extra love, right? So as you go out and you do something that's new and you fail, what could you say afterward? Because this is the most important. It's not about the failure. It's about how quick you come back from it. And the only way you're gonna come back quickly from something is what you say to yourself afterward and the meaning that you create around it. So the faster that I fail, I actually check it off and I'm like, okay, did that, that didn't work, what will work, right? So what questions are you asking? What are you saying to yourself? That's okay, I just failed. This is all a part of it. I know this, I'm so aware of this. Wow, that was embarrassing, but that's okay. This is gonna be a really great story. I really learned a lot from that. Or wow, I'm gonna be able to teach so much on this. Or oh my gosh, now I totally can connect to these women that I know that I'm going to lead. I totally have this epic story of awesome failure and I'm gonna come right back from it. Okay, one failure down. 10 to go, whatever you need to say to yourself afterward, right? So how can you pitch yourself to yourself? <laughs> how can you remember how amazing you are? So maybe in the morning when you wake up, you can say, wow, I am really good at um, caring for other people. I'm really good at seeing ahead of what needs to be taken care of. I am really good at uh, creating environments for people where they can grow. I'm really good at making people feel comfortable. I'm really good at seeing people's gifts. 
and all of those things that you're not good at, great, let other people fill in the gaps. Otherwise you wouldn't need anyone. I have realized that when you need people and you need each other and collaborate, when you get to collaborate, this is like the most epic part of life. So allow people to step into their zone of genius, forgive the fact that you don't have that as your zone of genius and step into yours. So. Pitch yourself to yourself. What are some things that you love about you? If you were trying to make you fall in love with you, what would you tell yourself about you? How would you sell yourself? What would you say? And remember these exact sentences. You can write them down, you can put them on your mirror, you can remember how freaking epic you are, and you can remember that the places where you feel weak or you have weaknesses is perfect because you find the people who can fill in those gaps and connect with them, collaborate. That's why we all need each other. So you guys, remember, Failure is all a part of it. In fact, it's one of the most glorious parts of it because it means that you are eliminating things. You're eliminating actions that you need to take. You're finding that super clear cut path that is meant for you. And we can't do that without process of elimination. Oh my gosh, I think we just got it on, on, on this video. Failure is not failure. Failure is a process of elimination of what is not for you and what does not work. So you guys, I would love to see you at The Bliss Project. I just opened up tickets. If you want more information, it is at theblissproject.info and it tells you all about what this incredible three-day event is all about. It is total immersion. You will meet your tribe, you will meet your soul sisters, and it will be the reference point for your life to have experiences that you need to take with you in order to understand exactly what you need to do out in the real world and you actually get to have them in this safe sacred space where failure kicks butt you get to fail right there on the spot if you choose to <laughs> and you can take that reference point into the rest of your life and know that you did it and know exactly what to do and know what's stopping you and how to get through it so go to theblissproject.info and i hope that you reserve your ticket quickly because they are selling out fast and this event sold out in just a couple weeks last year. So I hope to see you there. Bye-bye.